uh, including on this song. This is Tom Weir, 1953, the Boy Scout song. Well, be prepared. That's the Boy Scouts' marching song. Be prepared. As through life you march along, be prepared to hold your liquor pretty well. Don't write dirty words on walls if you can't spell. Well, be prepared. And hide that pack of cigarettes and don't make book. If you cannot cover bets, then be sure to hide that reefer where it's sure not to be found. And be careful not to smoke it when that scoutmaster is around. He's only going to insist that it be shared. you got to be prepared. Listen. Be prepared. That's the Boy Scout song creed. Be prepared. To be clean in word and deed. Don't solicit for your sister. That's not nice. Well, unless you get a good percentage of her price. you got to be prepared. And be careful not to do your good deed When there's no one watching you And if you're looking for adventure Of a new and different kind And you run across the Girl Scout Who is similarly inclined Don't be nervous, don't be flustered, don't be scared You gotta be prepared Okay Now that was 1953 And the Boy Scouts have had some uh, problems since then uh, so I added a verse. You gotta be prepared on that overnight camping trip and keep your sleeping bag very tightly zipped. And if that scoutmaster approaches you with a goofy smile, odds are better than even. He's a disgusting pedophile, so get your boots on. Get the hell out of there. You gotta be prepared. Okay, Tom Lerner, 1950. Now, the, this next one, I just learned, this is Bobby Vinton, 1961. Bobby V. And it goes. It's called, uh, Take Good Care of My Baby. My tears are falling, cause you've taken her away. Doesn't that sound like 1961? And even though it hurts me so, there's just something I gotta say. Take good care of my baby. Don't you ever make her blue. Just tell her that you love her and that you're thinking of her in everything you say and do. Yeah, take good care of my baby Don't you ever make her cry Just let your love surround her Paint rainbows all around her Don't let her see a cloudy sky Once upon a time That little girl was mine if I had been true, I know she wouldn't be with you. So take good care of my baby. Be just as kind as you can be. And if you should discover that you don't really love her, please send my baby back home to me. Now, let, let me think about this. You know, Bobby Vinton, that was 1961. But you think about it, you can't have your lover go off and run around with every Tom, Dick, and Harry come home. There's germs out there, diseases. So I had to add a verse to update the song. That guy gave something to my baby. My baby brought it home to me. And as I soon discovered, she contracted from her lover some really itchy STD. Okay, now the song is updated. Let's uh, Oh, it's going to be John's song. Let's see. 
I wrote the whole song in this case. This is called John's Song. About a friend of mine. I hadn't seen him in a long time. When we were young, we sold our wild oats together. Really crazy wild stuff. Uh, you know, stuff we can't talk about. And uh, I hadn't seen him for like, I don't know, 12 to 15. <laughs> and uh, he was a whole different person when I saw him again. Called uh, My Friend John. He brought his family. He was standing right in front of me, but his show sure looked different to me. And I said, John, what is your game? Well, you're standing right in front of me, but you don't seem quite the same. You see, he used to drink me under the table. He would smoke those cigarettes. He could tell a dirty story that it'd make the lady sweat. And I said, John, what's going down? Well, you're standing right in front of me, but you're not the John I used to know. Well, he said to me, he said, I did me some reading. A book or two or three, I looked up into heaven and Jesus talked to me and he said, John, look at what you're doing. You better come to accept me, stop all this smoking, drinking and screwing. And I said, John, you must be putting me on. Cause you're the last person I ever thought would give his life to the Lord. He used to drink me under the table, smoke those cigarettes. He was pretty quick with a knife and even quicker to make a bet. And I said, John, must be putting me on. You're the last person I ever thought would give his life to God. You know, I've had other friends, they've turned to Christianity. They quote to me the Bible and they look perplexed at me. I just say, whoa, you just hold on. Because I'm sure when he's ready, got to talk to Jim like he did John. Yeah, I'm sure when he's ready, the Lord will speak to Jim just like he did John. My friend John. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap with a cover. My capo says or my notes say do it on two, but I'm not sure about that. We'll see. This is uh, Peter Yarrow, '68. Day is done.
if you take my hand, my son, all will be well when the day is done. And if you take my hand, my son, all will be well when the day is done. Tell me why you are smiling, my son. Have you a secret you can tell everyone? Do you know more than men who are wise? Can you see what we all must disguise with your loving eyes? And if you take my hand, my son, all will be well when the day is done. And if you take my hand, my son, all will be well. When the day is done. I like that old one by Peter. Uh, two minutes. No pressure. No pressure. Can I do this this way? I wrote this one. Well, from clear across the room, I heard that funny thing you said. I heard the music of your laugh, and I saw that little way you tip your head. And I thought, could you be the one? Could this be the day? Could you be the answer to all those prayers I prayed? And I wish I knew the perfect words to say. God forbid I frighten you away Well, you moved across the room With style and grace My heart, it fully stopped When I saw the moonlight hit your face And I thought, could she be the one could this be the day? Could you be the answer? All those prayers I prayed And I wish I knew the perfect words to say And God forbid I frighten you away Well I know a mess, my clothes all disarray, my hair is all stuck down, I haven't shaved in days, but my story's on my face, a dozen different lives, I've got a thousand scars to trace, I've cried ten thousand silent times, and I wish I knew the perfect words to say. God forbid I frighten you away. 12 seconds to spare. Thank you all. It's been fun. Thank you, Jim. Next up, we have Jesse Carter.